So let us look at uh, 20, 20 paper 2. GC had said, figure 3.0 below shows a section through an ethron. Figure 3.0 below shows a section through an ethron. So I've been given this uh, diagram showing an ethron. Now we know what an ethron is. What is an ethron? An ethron is simply uh, a functional unit of a kidney. An ethron is simply a functional unit. Unit of a, a kidney. Meaning in the kidneys we have got a numerous uh, nephrons where urine is what is formed. Okay. Now in this case we'll be given this diagram which has been labeled uh, J, K, and D, L. Okay. So the first question is saying uh, name the parts labeled J, K, and D, L. Okay. So we have got part D, K. Part K, this one represents what? This one represents uh, the Bowman's capsule. This one is uh, the Bowman, the Bow, the Bowman's, the Bowman's capsule. Okay, that is K. Then uh, J. This one represents uh, the glomerulus. J. This is our glomerulus. Glomerulus. This is our glomerulus. Okay. Then L. This one represents the what? The correcting duct. This one is the correcting. Correcting that where secretion of uh, urine is done. Correcting what? Did? Correcting that. Okay? Then we have got some other parts. Even if they have not asked about these other parts, we have got uh, this one represents uh, the afferent end. This one it is our afferent, uh, afferent, afferent end. Okay? Then this other one represents the end. Efferent, the efferent, efferent end. So we have got uh, our afferent end, then we have got efferent end, we have got our Bowman's capsule, we have got our glomerulus, we have got our correcting duct, we have got this one, which is uh, the root, the root of N. Then we have got our, our renal, our renal tube. Okay, yes. So now, in this case, sometimes uh, during the exam, you may be asked to identify the processes on different uh, parts of this nephron. The processes which are take place during a urine formation, which take place at different uh, points of this particular nephron. I'll give an example. Uh, you have got this part, which is part J. You may be asked to identify the process which takes place at D, J, which is our glomerulus. Now, during a urine formation, the process which takes place at uh, J is what? Ultrafiltration. What is ultrafiltration? Ultrafiltration simply are the filtration of, um, let me just say, small molecules such as glucose, um, water, salts. Now, water, salts, glucose, those are what small, smaller molecules. So, what happens during uh, ultrafiltration? Those are filtered out. Since they've got smaller molecules, those are filtered out into the what? And they go into the Bowman's capsule. Then uh, those substances in blood which have got lighter molecules, such as uh, proteins, uh, plasma proteins, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, those have got uh, bigger molecules. So what happens is, as blood is flowing through this uh, afferent end, uh, larger particles such as uh, they have got white blood cells, white uh, blood cells, then red blood cells, then blood, blood cells, uh, then plasma proteins, plasma proteins, these substances, they put a lighter molecules. So they cannot be filtered out through this uh, glomerulus into the white, the bone and white capsule. So what happens is they go into this uh, vessel, which is the what, the effort is what, end. Okay? They go together with what, blood. Then what happens, substances such as uh, glucose, uh, glucose, urea, then uh, salts, and water. These substances, they've got smaller molecules. So what happens? 
These substances, glucose, urea, salts, and water, they have been filtered out, meaning they, they penetrate, they pass through, okay, these uh, glomerulus, and then they go into the what? Uh, the Bowman's capsule as the, the glomerulus filtrate. So these are the substances which forms what we call the glomerulus. The glomerulus filtrate. Since these are the substances which have been filtered out, where they are called uh, glomerulus what? Filtrates. They have been filtered out through the what? The glomerulus. Okay? Uh, so they are called what? These substances. The corrective term given to these uh, substances, which are glucose. Uh, urea, salts, and water. They are called what? The glomerulus what? Filtrate. These are the substances with small molecules which are uh, passed through the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule as the, uh, the glomerulus what? Uh, filtrate. Okay? Yes. Then, since these substances, the essence of uh, this entire process it is to eliminate what? Substances which are not needed in what? In blood. Okay? The essence of this, this, uh, this process, it is to eliminate our substances which are not needed in, in, in blood. Because we're talking about urine formation. Okay? Urine formation. And the content of uh, urine should be those substances which are not needed in, what, in blood. Substances such as what? Uh, urea. This one. Okay? Even excess salts and some water. Okay? Yes. Now we have got some other important substances. Like the most important substance like uh, glucose. This glucose which is needed in what? In blood. So this glucose should not be found in what? In urine. Okay? Glucose should not be found in urine. Even some salts as well, as well as some, some water. They are needed. Okay? So what happens uh, as these substances, the glomerulus uh, filtrate, as it goes via the renal tube, what happens there is what we call selective reabsorption. There is uh, what we call selective Selective reabsorption. There is what you call selective reabsorption. That's the second word, process. So we have got outer filtration where use of substances such as glucose, uh, sorry, uh, outer filtration, sorry for that. Outer filtration, we're talking about uh, a filtration where substances with small molecules such as glucose, urea, salts, and water are filtered out. Through the what? The glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule, and then you form what you call the glomerulus what? Filtrate. Then you have got a uh, process number two after outer filtration, which we call what? Selective reabsorption. Now, under this selective reabsorption, this is where now useful substances are being reabsorbed. Okay? Useful substances are being what? Reabsorbed into the bloodstream. Okay? Useful substances such as what? You have got glucose, is very, very useful. Uh, then you have got uh, water, even some salts. Some salts and water that have been reabsorbed back into the what? The blood, the blood stream. Okay? Yes. So that is what you call selective reabsorption. Where using substances have been selected or reabsorbed back into the what? Into the blood, the blood stream. As you can see, you have got blood vessels surrounding this uh, renal tube and the what? At the loop of any. Okay? Yes. So they have been what? Reabsorbed back into the what? The blood stream because they are very, very what? Useful. So that's what we call selective reabsorption. Then you have got uh, another process which takes place in the group of any which we call um, osmoregulation. Osmoregulation, which is the balancing up of uh, water levels in, in the what? In the body. Okay? And finally, you have got secretion this side. Now let me not waste time to talk about uh, things which are not part and parcel of our questions. Okay? I'll come and talk about this one on the other. For the other people, I think this is why they asked uh, most of the questions I'm talking about, or most of the things I'm talking about in this case. So now let us look at the questions which have been asked. So it said, A, it said, uh, name uh, the part labeled D, J, K, and D, L. So J, this is our glomerulus. So J is our gro glomerulus. Okay. Then what is our K? K represents uh, the Bowman's cup, so this is our K. So K, that is our bow. Bowman's. Bowman's. Capsule. Okay? Then L represents uh, the correcting duct. Uh, the correcting. The correcting duct. Where secretion takes place. 
the correcting duct. Then question B, Roman numeral one says, suggest three substances that are not filtered out. Three substances that are not filtered out. Remember, I talked about substances which uh, consist of uh, larger molecules. So since they've got larger molecules, they cannot penetrate or they cannot be filtered out through the, uh, the glomerulus. Thus, they remain and then they are being taken together with blood to the what? The efferent end. Okay? Substances such as what? Red blood cells, uh, white blood cells, uh, plasma proteins or platelets. Okay? So we have got one, white blood cells, white blood, blood cells, then two we have got uh, red blood cells, red blood cells, and we have got uh, plasma proteins, plasma, plasma proteins, okay. Plasma protein. So these are the, uh, our answers for question B, Roman numeral one. Now let us look at question B, Roman numeral two, which is saying explain what happens. Uh, explain what, explain what would happen at J. Explain what would happen at J, which is at point one G, J, which is at the glomerulus. What would happen at the glomerulus if the coiling of the blood capillaries was increased? So if we increase uh, the coiling of these blood capillaries, okay, immediately we we increase the coiling of these uh, blood capillaries. We are going to increase the surface area. Now remember the process which takes place uh, at the glomerulus, where these blood capillaries are. It is ultra filtration. So immediately we increase uh, the coiling of uh, the blood capillaries at the glomerulus. We are automatically going to uh, increase outer filtration. So we are going to say outer, okay, outer field filtration will will be will be increased. Okay, will be increased. Okay, because we have increased the light surface area. Okay, the surface area has been what in increased just by increasing the coiling of the what the blood capillaries uh, at the what the glomerulus. Okay, we are going to uh, also increase consequently what in outer filtration. Outer filtration will increase. Okay, then question C is saying uh, name the hormone that causes the reabsorption of water in the kidney and the organ where it is produced. So they want us to identify the hormone uh, which causes reabsorption of water in the kidney and the organ where it is produced. So the hormone, it is called antidiuretic hormone. It's called antidiuretic diuretic hormone. Antidiuretic Hormone, which is abbreviated as what? A D H antidiuretic hormone O oh, suppressing hormone is also called suppressing hormone. Okay. Uh, then the organ which produces uh, this antidiuretic hormone or suppressing hormone is called what? It's called uh, the 